Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You can see a wall of beer here. This is my last beer mail, and uh, yeah, instead of putting it in the fridge, I'm just going to pick from this. Um, you know what? We're just going to randomly pick from this. Uh, let's do this one. Alrighty, so this is called First World Problems. It's a Belgian IPA at 6.2% alcohol from Stuart Brewing. It is... But they only have brosh left. Whatever the fuck brosh is. Um, product of Scotland. Product of Scotland. So there we go. First world problems. Uh, I do not have a bottle opener because I did not think that one through. Roll over here. Grab a bottle opener. Um, Boris is on my other chair. Helga's in my shorts way over there. And we're going to drink this beer. Ooh, that's a new cap for the fridge. Okay, and we got the Silversmith uh, Frankfurt mug from their black lager. There's a lot more head on that than I expected. Um, I mean, I wasn't pouring the gentlest, but I, I wasn't doing the straight down the center pour either. I didn't expect that much head. I didn't expect that much uh, water stains either. I start, uh, I gotta start cleaning my glassware upstairs, and uh, I gotta go through them all. Um, glasses I haven't used for a while, I just forget about them. I just rinse them out and expect them to be good. Now I'm going straight down the center. Might as well now. Alrighty. So, first world problems by Stuart Brewing. Uh, hazy. Hazy and crazy. Uh, ambery hue. Like a kind of coppery, brassy color. Uh, Off-white head. Scent. Actually, that it's kind of fruity, like citrus, orange, and lemon and stuff out of there. Orange, lemon, caramel, a little bit of that just uh, that kind of piney bitterness, and a slight floral scent. So actually, this smells pretty good. Uh, does this have a date on it? Because this is from Scotland, it's probably fairly old. Um, June 2018 is when it's best before. So, if, the, if, if this is going a year, it's only a month. Because it's July. So, uh, that's not bad uh, for an LCBO imported IPA. Let's try it. Cheers. Now, I don't know really what makes this so Belgian-y, because it tastes more like kind of a, a mix between an English IPA and an American IPA. It has that, that floralness, it has a little bit of that pininess, it has some fruit characteristics. I was smelling citrus, but I'm tasting more like a honeydew and, a, and, and a honeydew and cantaloupe. So I'm getting honeydew, cantaloupe, uh, a floral taste, as well as a piney taste. Uh, I was smelling the caramel on there, but I'm not really getting a big malt bill. I don't know if it's because it's really the first beer I've really drank other than Rattlers in two months. Um, like, I've had a few here and there, but really not that much. Medium bodied. Drinks okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this beer. I could drink it with absolutely no... I ordered sourdough but they only had broche left. Um, I don't even know what broche is, to be honest with you. Uh, I know what sourdough is. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I could drink this beer. I have no problem with this beer. Do I think it's outstanding? Not really, but do I think it's bad? Not at all. Uh, out of 10 on this beer, I would easily give this a... easily give it a 7 out of 10. I would buy it again. So, First World Problems by Stuart Brewing. Solid beer. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers. I'm not going to chug this. I'm going to drink it while I watch some uh, Better Call Saul. Um, yeah, bye. Uh, next next movie I'm going to watch after I catch up on that is probably, uh, probably Castlevania.